Well, everyone, as some of you may know, iOS 15.4 just came out the other day, and this update brought a lot of cool stuff to the table. But strangely enough, there were a lot of updates, and personally, I've never seen an update like this that brought so many features for specific devices. It seemed like there were, you know, features for certain iPhones, then other iPhones got features. Overall, it was a really big update, but even for a device like my iPhone, you know, 8 or iPhone, you know, 10, I noticed it didn't really get too many crazy you know updates in this specific update now one of the biggest changes in ios 15.4 was pretty much taking payments you know that tap to pay feature that was you know brought that was rumored to be brought in the specific update now this is a cool thing i love this type of feature i haven't really used it yet but whenever this device is going to start rolling out to the public it's weird because the iphone 10 is really one of the only iphones that doesn't support this specific feature now i personally find this very strange i don't even know why that was even there i feel like the iphone 10 could have easily supported it unfortunately the iphone 10 does not support this feature which is very very strange but there are also some other features where a device like the iPhone 11 also didn't get certain features. For example, the Face ID unlocking with the mask feature. Why didn't the iPhone 11 get this feature? You know, I kind of feel very strange about it. I feel like with the iPhone 11, this is still a very impactful phone. It has a lot of features built into it, but for it to not get that specific feature of, you know, not unlocking our iPhone with Face ID, I just find that very strange. In my experience going from my iPhone 11 Pro to the 12 Pro or the 11 series to the 12 series, I didn't notice any improvements in Face ID. It felt kind of the same thing and I think some people mentioned that there were some ways that face ID could unlock at more angles I personally couldn't really tell that big of a difference it almost felt like the same exact thing so that was another pretty big thing in my opinion that I couldn't really tell too much of a difference so with something like the iPhone you know 11 for example I feel like Apple could have supported a lot more features on this device and even something like the iPhone 10 I feel like the iPhone 10 could have gotten a couple of these features as well but another big thing is recently with that face ID you know repairing option it looks Looks like iOS 15.4, maybe other versions of software above it. It could be that they basically found a way to fix Face ID without having to repair the whole iPhone. Unfortunately, the iPhone 10 also doesn't support that specific situation where the iPhone, you know, that are newer, the 10s are newer, do support it. So again, it's just one of those weird things that Apple kind of does every once in a while that just doesn't make any sense. I love iOS 15.4. It looks like a pretty big update, but I'm not really too sure what Apple was thinking with these specific moves. I feel like a lot of these features could have been ported over to pretty much all the other iPhones in my opinion. So that covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.